All right, so now let's say I want to find the tangent plane at a point on a surface given by z equals f of xy. Well, remember in our equations, we need to have zero on one side of our equation. So I would have zero equals f of xy minus z. And then this is what I would call my, cap my capital F function. f of xyz would be f of xy minus c. And then remember, I look for my partial derivatives of this function f, well, the only places I'm going to have x's in are in this first function right here, so it'll be the partial derivative of little f, and then the partial derivative with respect to y, still I only have a y in that first function, so it'll be fy. And now if I take the partial derivative with respect to z, the only place there's a z is in this last part right here, and the derivative would be negative 1. So then, if I revisit that formula for the equation of the tangent plane, at the point x naught, y naught, and z naught, then the equation would be fx x minus x naught plus fy, oh, sorry, at x naught, y naught, gotta plug in our point, y minus y naught, and then the derivative with respect to z is negative one, so it would be minus z minus c naught equals zero. So this would be the formula in that case for the equation of the tangent plane. So let's look at an example here. I want to find an equation of the tangent plane to the paraboloid z equals 1 minus 1 over 10 x squared plus 4y squared at the point 1 1 1 half Okay, so my function z is equal to f of x, y. So what is little f going to be? 1 minus 1 tenth x squared plus 4y squared. So now I need to find the partial derivatives of this function, fx. With respect to x, you'll get negative x over 5. If I simplify and fy will be uh, minus four-fifths y. Again, if I simplify, and then I'm going to take my partial derivatives and plug in my point. All I need is my x and my y coordinates, so I'd get negative one-fifth and negative four-fifths. So then, to find the equation of my tangent line, we go back to that formula, and the formula it's x minus, remember what your point is, my point here is the point 1, 1, and 1 half, so plus fy, uh, it'll be y minus 1 now, and then it was minus z minus z naught, which is one half equals zero. And then I just plug in what these things were from up above. It was negative one fifth 
and a negative four fifths and you can leave it like that or if you want to distribute everything out and collect up your like terms you would get a positive three halves equals zero. And there's the equation of my tangent plane.